So here we have the uh, production line going, packing the mandarinas. <laughs> we even have a, 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 a party, a tea party going on, girls. There with the with your teddies and dolls. <laughs> yeah, the girls have been helping. You've been helping, Amelia. So for those of that of yeah. you, for those of you that were in the prayer meeting the yeah. other week, um, we talked about fruit and being the best fruit in Bolivia. <laughs> so here it is. And we got crates being uh, stacked up. And I've just literally today been servicing the trailer, getting it ready, um, fixing it, making sure it's safe. And we just started packing back in the trailer. So we'll be going off to market soon to go and, that, go and get that sold. Are we gonna sell lots of mandarins? Yeah. So this will be our song. <laughs> How tired I feel. <laughs> Muy cansado. I feel tired. I want to go to bed. <laughs> so tired. But I'm drinking coffee instead. Tired, 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 tired. No, 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 no sleep. No, no sleep. No, no sleep. I cannot resist. I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should wash up the plates instead. So today we're taking down this old thatched house because we're going to turn it into uh, a well-protected um, place for little baby chicks, replacing the, some of the structure with, with more metal uh, fencing. We're in the chicken enclosure and yeah we're, we're trying to make sure that we've got lots of nests and areas for the baby chicks to, to, to be safe from predators and and yeah there's a lot of work going on we're also making nests for the turkeys today it's also going to be a covered area where they can go and hide and away from water but also where where they can nest and 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 we'll be able to lift up the the covers of their nests so you're doing that there
Anne has made a little makeshift area for the baby chicks to eat and drink and these are chicks that hatched using an incubator because we found a lot of our hens were killing their babies by accident really not deliberately especially the new mums so we decided that we would look after them and we would hatch them instead of them dying and losing a lot of, of chicks so those are outside and this is outside our outdoor eating facility and this you might be wondering what's under here it's very heavy this piece of wood but under there we've got our gas oh that is heavy anyway that's just temporary really although it's a really good idea having it there next to where we are so we might even make something like that more permanent here just for putting them out the first few days when they're babies and this is inside our eating area as you can see we've got our stoves there a table down there sink we've even got a little music area there where the girls are learning to play the piano and trumpet and here this is new we ordered this a long time ago but it's only just been installed and that's our grill and it, and it it goes up and down on the mechanism here so so we can clean it out i've actually Put under there charcoal which i've made myself so it hasn't cost us any money to do that and there's a at the moment this is where we've got our incubator we're going to move it to the chicken enclosure at one point when we've got an area that's waterproof in there and we can put electricity and there you can see all of our eggs and literally in the last 12 hours all of these have hatched and we've got five new babies really quickly hatched so we're getting more confident we put them in there to begin with while they 72 hours they say they, they survive after hatching before they need to eat and drink but we normally provide food within two days um, often within less than 24 hours to be honest and they do very well before we put them out if we put them straight out with all the others the others will peck them and they won't do very well and sometimes they can die for that this is our oven um, I've even got my my recipe book there um, and this is where I make the bread at the moment normally I use these iron containers to put put the dough in it's an easy way to make bread you don't need to worry about it you leave it in there till it's big and you chuck it in the oven and yeah so that's we've got tiles on the wall we've even got a couple of coconuts so that's what's happened in this outdoor eating area at the moment we've just got mosquito mesh on the windows and we've been trying to finish the painting um, in here we haven't completely finished but the plan is to um, put glass on the windows very soon because when the wind blows it blows our gas out here and uh, it also blows lots of um, uh, powder, lots of, <laughs> I've forgotten the word, dust. <laughs> I'm forgetting my, I was thinking polvo, which is Spanish, of course, for dust. It blows lots of dust in here and the floor gets dirty really, really quick. 
Anyway, the plan in the future is to put cupboard doors in all of these bottom sections. We're going to have a carman to come and, and, and make doors for all of those areas so we can keep dust out, keep things clean, keep things neat and tidy at the moment. It's a bit of a nightmare. Dust always seems to get in the cupboards um, and it's, it's hard to keep clean. So that's what's going on in here. Coming outside, going up the rampler, the ramp, you can see the roof here, uh, first level is kind of a grey colour, that's because we've been painting it this morning, we've done one coat, which is like a priming coat, uh, which is, um, yeah, it's like a membrane paint, so that will provide the bases in four hours, and less than four hours we'll be putting a second coat on that, um, and then after that we've got to wait six hours before we put the third coat, and then hopefully uh, that will be that will be done and that will be our membrane initial membrane it might need one extra coat after that but we're we're planning to paint to use another paint on top of the membrane as well which will also help with with water because in the moment we don't have a roof but eventually there'll be a big roof over the whole of this um, but this is uh, yeah, yeah this is going to stop this is going to keep us watertight any water that does get in um, when it rains here it's going to run out of those pipes all the way down the side of the building so that's what's going on on top so this is the moment that we are taking Wilson uh, in the red t-shirt to the uh, center. Uh, thanks God for all of them. Bendiciones a todos. Bendiciones. Dios los bendiga. This is if they are kids that live here. Uh, they live here and thanks God for them.